This past weekend was UFC 292, and wow, what a turn of events. I really thought we were going to see an utterly dominant performance from Aljamain Sterling. I'm talking a real grappling showcase. I mean, he went into the fight as a minus 250 favorite, and I don't know about you all, but I thought that Sean O'Malley looked nervous as hell during the walkout, the faceoff, and even at the start of the fight. I think we all knew his best chance at winning would be outstriking Aljamain. He already established himself as one of the highest level strikers in the division, with 12 of his wins being from KOs. But who would have thought that Sean would make it look that easy? Despite the rivalry between the two, Aljo was nothing but respectful in the Octagon interview and the post-fight press conference, and Sean reciprocated the feeling, even saying that in his eyes, Aljamain Sterling was the greatest bantamweight of all time. That's pretty high praise coming from the new champion, but I'm wondering how many fans would actually agree with the statement, because Aljamain Sterling gets a ton of hate. There's full-on case studies on the phenomenon that is Aljo hate. There's two on screen now, you should check them out, but not till after you finish this video. And if you want recent showings of fans' distaste for the former champ, during the fight against O'Malley, a fuck you Aljo champ broke out. And during the pre-fight press conference, the crowd booed him way more than they cheered. And they were in Boston. Granted, neither of them are from there, but Sterling at least lives in the Northeast. You'd think there'd be more fans than haters when they're so close to his home. Now, I understood the hate when Aljamain first won the belt from Piotr Jan. Hell, I was one of the haters. After he got kneed and was rolling around on the ground, I was like, bro, get up. You are not hurt that bad. Come on. And I think it's fair to say that he did not deserve the belt at the end of that fight. He said so himself in the interviews after. The only way to redeem himself would be to rematch Piotr again and win decisively. And he did. Well, half of that at least. The rematch ended in a split decision. And after rewatching the fight, I don't think it was a robbery, but it certainly wasn't a dominant display from Aljo. He played it safe and went human backpack mode for most of the fight, which is a good strategy if you want to win and end your career with minimal CTE, but not so good if you're trying to win back some of the fans to your side. Regardless, Aljo left UFC 273 with a successful title defense. Next, he'd take on the returning TJ Dillashaw at UFC 280. Both men had a lot to prove going into this fight. A win over the former two-time champion would surely be just what Aljamain needed to finally prove that his title reign wasn't a fluke. But man, Aljo just could not catch a break, as TJ basically started the fight with one arm. The man injured his shoulder in the lead up to the fight, and it dislocated in the very first round. He'd survived long enough to make it to round two though. His corner did their best to fix him up, but there's only so much they can do. And sure enough, it dislocated again in the second round. Aljamain would get a TKO victory over TJ in the second, but the win did little to validate his title reign. The next challenger would also be a returning ex-champion with plenty of accolades to his name, as Henry Cejudo, the former champ champ and Olympic gold medalist, would try his luck at being the first to dethrone Aljamain. Aljo would go on to get the unanimous decision win over Triple C, but for me personally, this is where I stopped being a hater. I'm still not a huge fan, but this is the point where I was done rooting against the man. To me, Henry didn't look rusty or sloppy, Aljo won with no controversy, and you know, that was enough for me. I think a win over Sean O'Malley would have been the moment that finally shifted the fan perspective of Aljamain. And looking back, most of the reasons I didn't like him personally weren't directly his fault. Like, it's not his fault that Jan threw an illegal knee, or that TJ's arm dislocated mid-fight. Everyone has their reasons for liking a fighter more than another, but personally I think Aljo got way too much hate, and I hope he's able to rise up from this loss and finally get the respect from MMA fans that he deserves. That's gonna do it for this video. If you want to see more MMA content, I have a video where I talk about my gripes with the heavyweight division. And if you're into gaming content, I stream pretty often on this channel. Take it easy and have a good one, folks.